Politicians in the Falklands want an Argentine hockey player banned from the Olympics after he took part in a spectacular ad claiming the islands were part of Argentina. Fernando Zilberg was filmed training at various Falklands landmarks, including a British war memorial. He'd ended with the message, to compete on English soil, we train on Argentine soil. The Defence Secretary, Philip Hammond, has demanded an apology from Argentina and the ad has now been condemned by the agency behind it, as Jane Deeth now reports. The advert, aired on television in Argentina last night, shows the country's hockey captain, Fernando Zilberberg, apparently training for the Olympics in the Falklands capital, Port Stanley. Islanders assumed he was there to compete in a marathon, but instead he was secretly filming while they were asleep. He's seen outside the Globe Tavern, sprinting past the offices of the Penguin News and passing that most British of symbols, the red telephone box. But seeing him exercising on the Great War Memorial has caused the most offence. Certainly if we had known that he was going to do that sort of thing at the War Memorial, we certainly would have put a stop to that because that's the sort of behaviour that's likely to cause a breach of the peace and it shouldn't be done. I mean, it's, it's rude and disrespectful. I mean, not only to 1982 veterans, but to veterans of, uh, of previous wars. Uh, it's just the sort of thing you don't do in someone else's country. But Argentina's president, Cristina Kirchner, argues it's her country. The ad is a media-savvy salvo and ends with the line, to compete on English soil, we train on Argentine soil. To compete on British soil? Well, they competed on British soil 30 years ago. They didn't come out too well then. You know, maybe, maybe this is a ploy that she's trying to psych out the British athletes come the Olympics. It's, it's all just cheap and tawdry. Tonight, the advertising agency condemned its own advert. Young and Rubicum said the work of its team in Argentina was unacceptable. It's asking the government there to pull the ad. The UK government agrees it's provocative, but refuses to rise to it. Uh, it is a rather sad stunt. It won't impress anybody in the world. Uh, we are not going to take any actual action in response to it. But should the International Olympic Committee take action over Argentina's use of the Games to reassert a claim to the Falklands? Amid calls for Fernando Zilberberg to be banned from competing, the IOC said tonight the Olympics should be a politics-free zone. But this row is beyond its remit. It's a matter for Britain and Argentina.